Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Ah, optical media, the bane of my existence on this channel. I have been trying for a year to get optical media to work on the iPhone. And a couple of months ago, I threw in the towel, I filmed a video documenting everything I tried and basically said it wasn't going to work. Well, I guess I just keep coming back for more punishment because we're going to try it again today. So a couple of weeks ago, I was watching the 8-Bit Guys channel, and he had a video on unusual digital cameras, and this one caught my eye, the Sony Mavica line from the early 2000s. And what's cool about this is it saves the photos to a mini CD. Now this came out at a time when the price of optical media had really dropped from the 90s, but flash media was still expensive per megabyte. So for two or three years, this made sense. And you could fit up to 210 megabytes on these little mini CDs, so it wasn't bad for the time. Now, why do I think this device is going to work when so many others have failed? Well, when you plug in a digital camera to your computer, it will work one of two ways. The camera can either support USB mass storage or the picture transfer protocol, or PTP. If it's a mass storage camera, when you plug it in, it's just like a flash drive. It shows up on your desktop as a disk or in your finder window if you're on a Mac. On Windows, uh, it'll show up as a map drive with a letter like E or F or whatever you have available. And your photo importation software will see it and say, oh, there's a fat disk. It's got a DCIM folder on it, a bunch of JPEGs in it, all in the 8.3 format. It must be a digital camera. So it grabs the thumbnails, presents them to you to decide what you want to import. A PTP camera works differently. It doesn't expose the file system. It doesn't mount as a disk on the desktop or in the finder window on your Mac. It will show up under my computer as a device, but it's not a drive letter. And that's how you can tell if it's a mass storage camera or a PTP camera if you don't have a drive letter attached to it on, on Windows. And what's cool about the PTP method is the host doesn't care what the device is or what the file system is on the drive because it's just communicating over this protocol. So like I've talked about in my past videos, one of the problems with optical media is that the iPhone doesn't read the ISO 9660 file system that most CDs are in. And the other thing is that it sees it's an optical drive on the USB bus and just doesn't want to work with it. So that should not be an issue with this camera in theory because it's just communicating over the PTP protocol and it's saying, hey, I've got X number of photos for you. So let's try it out and see if it works. I'll turn it around here and we'll turn the camera on. I took some pictures earlier today. Now it's going to boot up here, and when it's ready, I will connect it to the iPhone. It's spinning up the disk right now and reading those five photos that are on here. Okay. All right. I'll plug it in here. It's going into PTP mode. That's good. That's good. We got the import button came up. Look at that, there's a photo. Are we reading this disc finally? There's one of the pictures. But there is a problem here, and that is that there are five photos on this mini CD. And this is the only one that comes up. And it's not the first photo I took, and it's not the last photo I took, it's one in the middle. So I have no idea why it only sees this photo. It's very, very strange. Let's select it and we'll hit import. Very strange. I think this is a bug in this flavor of iOS 13 and we all know it's had its share of bugs. I, it just doesn't make any sense why I'd only find one photo in the middle, but it imported it fine. So I think this is the way to get the iPhone to read optical media. I just think there's a bug for some reason, and this is all it's doing for now. You know, iOS 14 is right around the corner, so if it works in the future with that, I'll, I'll revisit this. But for now, 
Let's try it out with the iPod Photo. I mean, will this old audio player, this humble little audio player from 2004 have any better luck than the iPhone? Let's give it a whirl. Wow, look at that. It sees all five photos. Let's import those suckers. Working, the disc is spinning. All right, let's go into that roll, make sure they're all here on the iPod Photos hard drive. Yep, all five of them are here. How cool is that? The little iPod Photo works flawlessly with optical media and the iPhone has bugs. Who knew? So I'm very proud of this little iPod Photo. Um, it's actually in this case, working better than the iPhone, when so many things that work on the iPhone don't work on the iPod photo. But like I said, I think it's a bug. Um, my LG TV, by the way, which went, runs the web OS, um, also works with PTP cameras, and it was able to read off this disc as well. And it also could not use regular optical media like the iPhone. So iOS 14 comes out. If I can uh, read all the photos on one of these optical discs, and I'll do a follow-up video, and I'll finally show the iPhone and hopefully in all its glory working with optical media. So anyway, that's all for now. Like I said, iOS 14 is coming out soon. Hopefully it'll have some new features, which maybe this channel can make use of with some interesting things. I hope you're really enjoying this channel. Please like and subscribe and I will be back soon. Take care.